Hello everyone, good morning, good evening. Uh, this is your host, the Dotnetist Enterprise. And welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about refresh token. So I already implemented this and I will just summarize what I did here. Um, we're going to have two anonymous uh, allow anonymous um, endpoints, the login and the refresh token. And here in the login, we're going to authenticate the user. And then if the user is authenticated, then we're going to, to generate token for the user. And we get the token string and the refresh token. So we're going to discuss this later. And in the refresh token endpoint, we're first going to um, uh, do a lot of checking here. I uh, check the the valid uh, through the validate validated token. We're going to get the user here, and then we're going to generate. We're going to check uh, the blah 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 all those checking here check the stored um, refresh token we're going to check if it's invalidated or if it's being used or if it's the same with the uh, JWT ID that we created on the login and then after that if we have uh, done all the validation then if it's okay to generate an, a refresh token then we're going to again uh, call this method to generate a new token, a new access token. So this refresh token is actually just a uh, GUID. Um, it is being generated here in this uh, method. So in the method here, we're going to um, provide the claims. We're going to add into the claims the GUID for the JIT, a uh, GTI, G. TI, uh, I'm not sure what this is, but this is uh, JWT um, registered claim names. So I'm just uh, hard coding this for now here. Then we're going to add our additional claims that we will create for our user. And then after that, we're going to um, set the expiration date the ex that it will expire. For example, this one is just. Uh, this one just expires for I think 30 seconds or 40 seconds so this is the just the settings here so that the access token will expire every f 40 seconds and then when it expires then the the client should um, request for another um, access token so um, okay so here we're going to generate the token and where is it where I'm going to oh, yeah this one here this is the token for this is the um, refresh token so this is just a GUID and um, yep so that's it we're going to add another refresh to token into our database so we actually create uh, this refresh token into our database and every time we want to generate a new token it will add into the database and it will check all the um, status of that refresh token so here we're going to generate a new token and then it will give us the new token that is being created and the refresh token that is uh, that was created here when we added this and yep that's basically it so if you want to know the detail implementation of this you can drop a comment below and to um, demonstrate this <coughs> we're going to run this thing um, I will have to post okay so now it's running so we'll call this endpoint here and okay we're going to run our swagger this is the back end and then we're going to log in our log in is jbx test one two three is our password 
and then we're going to uh, this is the generated access token and this is the generated refresh token so if we're going to use this in our endpoints uh, bearer this is a, because this is bearer token and we're going to use this one here or test so because it expires after 45 seconds so here it's still being um, it can still be used so we're going to check um, it's I can't remember what time is it but we'll have to um, count 45 seconds I think because I set 45 seconds for this one so one two, oh no it's already it already expired so because it already expired we're then going to use this um, access token a uh, token here to create a uh, to request for a new access token to get a refresh token yeah, so this is the refresh token and then we're going to use this so instead of logging in again to get an access token we're just going to use the refresh token so that we can have a new access token so if we're going to run this so now it's here um, we can access again so that's basically it um, if you need further explanation on why we need access tokens so there are stack overflows um, stack overflow answers here um, yeah what is the purpose of refresh token you can read about that okay so that's it um thanks don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below if you want to have the code i will explain the code in detail for you guys so yep bye